Welcome in my ASVAB party people. Anderson here, your ASVAB coach, hopefully. Let's go ahead and get into this one here and I wanna show you really quickly how when you have a geometry word problem, yes, this is a geometry word problem. The moment you have a geometry word problem, remember that you have a massive advantage. That advantage is formulas. Typically, 99% of geometry word problems involve a formula some way, somehow. Perimeter, area, volume, service area, circumference, you know, all these terms have uh, formulas associated with them. So you want to pay attention to that because all you have to do is memorize the formula, which we can all do that. We all have that power. And then from there, well, what are we plugging in and where? That's it. So let's go ahead and get into it here. And I'm going to show you exactly how this works. The question reads, hey, what is the perimeter of a square? And before I even read anything else, those are trigger words. We want to find the perimeter of a square. Instantly, 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 what needs to pop up in your head is the formula for perimeter of a square. So perimeter of a square equals four times the side. And if you don't believe me, just take a look at this perfectly drawn square from me. Boom, look at that square, all the sides are the same. So that's why, since you have four sides that are the same, the perimeter is gonna be all four sides added up or just go ahead and multiply the side by four. Same thing, multiplying by four means adding it by itself four times. So with that said, let's go ahead and plug in the information we have, solve it, and we're done. Here we go. So it says, hey, what's the side length? Because that's all we need. That's really all we need to solve this. And it says we have a side length of 10. Great, we're done, that's it. <laughs> that's it, yes, this problem can be easy. And it is, this one particularly. Four times 10, that's gonna be 40. And since it's perimeter, we keep it as just inches. And there it is. So if you're looking at this right now and you're thinking, wow, okay, that was a little easier than I thought. Or I was freaking out a little bit in the beginning because I saw the word perimeter and I didn't know what to do. Or I thought it was length times width and I was looking for what was going on there. Well, that's the thing, guys. We wanna make sure we know what we're doing and exactly how to take care of things at any given moment. So I wanna show you how to get started on raising your ASVAB score the right way. First, if you liked what you saw here and you want more, go ahead and leave a comment. That way we keep producing more for you. But number two, you don't have to wait to get more. You can actually try my full program for free for a week where I have over 15,000 practice questions and over a thousand video solutions to practice questions. So really there's no risk at all because you don't have to use your credit card. So go ahead and get into it. The QR code up there, scan it, or go to that link at the bottom left and then text me at that 567 number down there. Once you're done, letting me know that you're set so I can introduce myself and make sure you continue raising your score. I'm Coach Anderson, see you soon.